Welcome to FT Markets. So, the European Central Bank President Mario Draghi has spoken. The ECB policy meeting decide to keep things as they are. But Draghi was as his most dovish as he could possibly be when he said that a whole menu of measures may be necessary in the coming months to keep inflation target in range and to help stimulate growth in the Eurozone. Well, with me to discuss what he said is Ferdinando Giuliano of our economics team. Ferdy, I'm right, aren't I? I mean, the, it, he couldn't have been more dovish, could he? Well, Roger, you're absolutely right. I think the comments were very dovish. And what's interesting is that they came while Draghi was actually quite positive about the Eurozone economy. He said the recovery, especially domestically, was going well. People were spending the windfall from low oil prices. And the belt tightening by government seemed to have slowed a little bit as uh, uh, after many years of uh, really severe fiscal consolidation. But he's still very worried, but he's about, worried about what's happening. He's worried, first of all, about what's happening in emerging markets in China. So yes. external demand could weaken. And he's very worried about inflation and inflation expectations. He's saying, look, inflation expectations seem to be coming down together with oil prices. And that's something which worries him because he may mean that the inflation expectations are the anchor. That means that the ECB may find it hard to hit its target of just below 2%. And the market loved it, didn't well, it? Absolutely, the euro went down 1.6%. We had stocks liking it. Bond yields went down. So it yeah, had I mean, the, I, the I, desired I, reaction. I think in part uh, this was expected. Mm. People were expecting a lot of uh, words from Draghi. But as usual, he managed to pull it off for now. Uh, partly because of these comments on the deposit rate, which uh, he made. So he said he would, the ECB was looking at cutting the deposit rate. That's the rate which is charged mm. to banks for parking. At the moment, it's at minus 0 0.2. Exactly. And the ECB had said, this is it. We're not going to go any further down. But actually, they seem to have changed his mind. And, that, and Draghi said this was because circumstances had changed. And this is, in a way, this was unexpected. And, and I so think what, what might be the consequences of going back slightly on saying we're not going to cut deposit rates? I mean, I this mean, is going to have impact on other parts of Europe. As clearly, well. clearly there, are, there are, first of all, some questions which people will ask about the credibility of the ECB. Yeah. Central bank which says, I won't go down any further and then changes its mind. Is that a big deal? Well, that's, that's up for debate. But I think the real question, in a way, it's outside the Eurozone. There are countries like uh, Switzerland, for example, that have... Uh, slashed every deposit rate to even more negative territory than the ECB um, and may be forced to go even further down. Now, this is interesting because at the moment, uh, central banks have managed to cut deposit rates below zero without banks um, passing on these mm. neg negative rates to consumers, to depositors, meaning depositors are not charged for their okay. deposits. But what happens if we start seeing some central banks going to minus 1%? Well, it could be a completely different game so in town. So you think that that might cause uh, an adverse reaction. I just want to ask you, because, I mean, Draghi was pretty dovish last month, OK? And he brought the euro down as a result. But the consequences of that, after that was the market reacted and the euro went back up again. So is Draghi losing his rhetoric power? Um, this is as far as he could possibly go. So is there a risk that, that Draghi's, the strength of what Draghi can say is going to be diminished? Look, Draghi's been, the, in a way, a magician in, with words. We all remember whatever it takes mm -hmm. and the uh, outright monetary transactions program, which, in a way, saved the euro without ever being used. So he's the master bluffer. But he, on this occasion, there are bigger forces at play. And the big one is what the Fed will decide. And we'll have the NFP, the, the non-farm payrolls data on Friday, the November the 6th. So that's the so next big so if. Ultimately, if the Fed moves, finally, there is a liftoff, and that, that means that the pressure will come off the euro, go on the dollar, and Draghi will obtain what he wants, essentially, without too much effort. So you actually think that this isn't a question of he will do, he, he will do this anyway. He's laying out what's possible for the ECB to do, but it may not, necessary, it may not be necessary if the Fed plays ball and... Well, the, the, the timing, in a way, doesn't help the ECB because the ECB um, yes, will course. meet on the two weeks before the December yes. meeting of the Fed. So the now, market has got to be really expectant to the December Fed you know, hike. But I suspect, you, you know, if, he's, if they decide to move, they will do it anyway. My, my, my answer was more related to your question, will this work? Yeah. And I suspect whether or not it works will depend, yes, on what they do but ultimately an alt on what the Fed decides to do. Okay, Ferdy, thank you very much. So there we have it, Mario Draghi.
has reloaded his bazooka and said this is what the ECB is prepared to do. But perhaps more relevant is what the Fed is going to do next.